inner surface of a plane brick wall is at 60 degrees Celsius and the outer surface is at 35 degrees Celsius, calculate the rate of heat transfer per meter square of surface area of the wall which is 220 mm thick, the thermal conductivity of the brick is 0.51 watts per meter degree Celsius. Okay, So, the temperature of the inner surface, see this is the diagram very beautifully described. So, it is actually reducing, that's why we get a minus sign in Fourier's law when we are increasing towards the thickness. So, the temperature of the inner surface is T1 is equal to 60 degrees Celsius. The temperature of the outer surface of the wall, it is 35 degrees Celsius. It's already given in the numerical and I've already told you, you have to chart out what's given and what's not and what you need to attack on first. The thickness of the wall is L is 220 mm. Okay, the thermal conductivity of the brick, everything is provided in the numerical and you know the Fourier's law by this time, you should be knowing the Fourier's law by this time, it is minus Ka minus Ka dt by dx. So, dt will is actually delta t and dx is L. So, here it is. Okay, so it is like, see, they have multiplied. In my previous numericals, you were seeing that uh, t2 minus t1, right? And I told you, you can actually multiply the minus sign inside and again, uh, there, uh, this is the kind of solving that you can do when you go for, you know, multiplication of minus sign inside. So, this is the answer. Very, very simple numerical, very, very illustrative diagram it has shown. Okay, now the next one is once again, consider a slab of thickness L 0.25 meters. Okay, this is the L thickness, talking about thickness. One surface is kept at 100 degrees Celsius and the other surface at 0 degrees Celsius. Determine the net flux across the slab if the slab is made of pure copper. Thermal conductivity of copper may be taken as 387.6 watts per meter Kelvin. Okay, so everything is given here once again. So the thickness is L is equal to 0 0.25 meters. Okay, the temperature is 100 degrees Celsius the T2 means the T2 here is 0 degree Celsius, okay? And the thermal conductivity K is 387.6 watts per meter Kelvin, okay? Again, the simple Fourier's law, it is minus Ka dt by dx. So, here it is, okay? So, net flux, flux is basically Q by A. So, it's Q by A. So, it's watts per meter square is the simple calculation, okay? Now, next is, now you can see, it's, now we are entering into the composite zone. A reactor's wall 320 mm thick is made up of an inner layer of fire brick, K is equal to 0 0.84 watts per meter degree Celsius, covered with a layer of insulation, K is equal to 0 0.16 watts per meter degree Celsius. The reactor operates at a temperature of 1325 degree Celsius and the ambient temperature is 25 degree Celsius. First off, what you need to find out is, determine the thickness of the fire brick and the insulation which gives minimum heat loss and calculate the heat loss presuming that the insulating material has a maximum temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius. Okay, so there, uh, there uh, you can see are the two are the two layers of the composite wall. Okay, one is the fire brick, one is the insulation. This is the temperature here, this is the temperature here. Okay, this is the intermediate temperature here. Okay and the thickness here. So, what do you need to find out? You need to find out, determine the thickness of the fire brick. So, determine the thickness of the fire brick. You need to find out this and calculate the heat loss presuming that the insulating material has a maximum temperature of 1200 degrees Celsius. So, this is 1200 degrees Celsius. So, this is all given. So, what you need to do is, you need to just go with like this. And I've already told you that the heat is steady. So, basically heat that is entering from this wall, sorry, from, from this phase will actually exit with the same magnitude. So, what you do is Q is equal to T1 minus T3 LA by KA plus LB by KB and this will be same like T1 minus T2 by LA by KA and T2 minus T3 because it is steady, okay? So, considering first two quantities, okay? So, you can actually calculate LA throughout. So, just by little bit of mathematics, just by little bit of mathematics, you can actually go for, because here the LA is unknown, okay? Here the LA is unknown. So, when the LA is unknown, so you can, and, and everything is known, so definitely you can calculate the LA, means the thickness of the fire brick, okay? And the thickness of the insulation, the thickness of the insulation, 
the thickness of the insulation will be 320 mm minus LA. So you will get LB. Okay. So here it is LB. Now heat loss per unit area, you can take any, uh, either you can go for the fire brick or you can go for the uh, insulation part and just apply Fourier's law. And here is the Fourier's law that is delta T and it is in the format in Q is delta T by R T H. Okay. And we know that R T H for conduction is L by K A. So here it is L by K A. Okay. So this is the thing. Now let's talk about the next numerical. A wall of furnace is made up of inside layer of silica brick 120 mm thick covered with a layer of magnesite brick 240 mm thick. The temperature of the inside surface of the silica brick wall and outside surface of a magnesite brick wall are 725 degrees Celsius and 110 degrees Celsius respectively. The contact thermal resistance between the two walls at the interface is 0.0035 degrees Celsius per watts per unit wall area. If the thermal conductivities of silica and magnesite bricks are 1.7 watts per meter degree Celsius and 5.8 watts per meter degree Celsius, calculate. Okay. So the rate of heat loss, uh, calculate the rate of heat loss per unit area of the walls and temperature drop at the interface. So everything is given here. This is another, you know, composite wall. So Ka is given, La, Lb means the thickness is given here. Okay, the contact thermal resistance, the contact thermal resistance, we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. Okay, it's the same thing as the thermal resistance is given. Okay, the temperature at the inside surface, the temperature at the outside surface. Okay, now what they are showing, the rate of heat loss per unit area of wall Q. See, the contact thermal resistance is given here. Okay, so see, this is Q. So it is delta T by submission of RTH. So it will be RTHA plus RTH here. See, it is RTHA here. Okay. It will be then R thermal of the contact and it will be RTH of B and R thermal of the contact is actually given here in the numerical. So just solve it, just solve it and calculate the Q. Everything is given. Just solve it and get the Q. The temperature drop at the interface, the temperature drop at the interface. So it is, I have already told you it is steady. So the heat that is coming here will go out with the same magnitude. So here, see, it is T1 minus T2 by LA by KA, uh, L, uh, uh, LA by KA, and here it is T3 minus T4 LB by KB. So everything is there. So just at the, this is the contact temperature at the interface. Just calculate with the simple mathematics, you can calculate the contact temperature.